I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction. Here with a three minute cattle market update for Friday, July the 15th, where we've seen a late week cash feeder cattle rally. And uh, really a welcome sight to these guys in the Flint Hill region and the Osage that were really needing to get those cattle moved. Uh, it's at the end of the double stock session right here. Those cattle have to be off of those pastures. And, uh, and luckily, before they had to feed them themselves or, or a lot of them were just gonna try to scramble maybe to a local sale barn and uh, too bad for some of the sale barns, but uh, they ended up uh, trading a lot of those cattle direct here on Thursday. But your live cattle futures in the August contract for Wednesday was up 255, so a pretty good jump there in the middle of the week for fats. Thursday was up $1.27 and closing that basis gap a little bit. It's not really helping the cash fat cattle market any, but it is closing that basis up. And they ended the day Thursday at 112.72. Feeder cattle on the August contract. Wednesday was up just 67 cents, but then Thursday up 242 to end the day on Thursday at 141.70. And that little rally there on uh, your feeder cattle futures on Thursday was enough, even though they can't use the feeder cattle board there to, to hedge anything, it, it just to give the, the cash market enough shot that uh, a lot of those cattle that were getting gathered up and really didn't have a home, uh, they were able to get a lot of those sold. Uh, you know, a lot of those cattle slide at that 850 pounds, so that's the base weight on them. They're all gonna bring right in there around 145, which is, is several dollars better than what the was really looking like earlier in the week this week. Uh, but still, the, these guys that are buying them, they just want those cattle so bad because they know how well they'll perform. Uh, those, those long, hard yearlings right there, and they're green as gourds. They haven't had any supplemental feed, and just that blue stem grass, and, uh, and they will just absolutely do it all when they put them on feed. And those feedlot guys, they've got to have some cattle like that. They're, they don't want to have to feed uh, big, soggy calves all the time. They want some green yearlings to feed. But uh, they're, they're worried about the weights on those cattle because they've done really well. So you're seeing a lot of weight stops on, on the slide there, uh, less than 50 pounds over the base weight, which is, is not usual. But uh, they are they're putting weight stops on those cattle, uh, just not very far up, maybe 35 pounds over what the base weight is. So guys better have their, have their scales set when they put their eyes on them. But your fat cattle uh, haven't done anything on Thursday there, but have traded some through the week here and there a little bit, uh, around 18,000 in the five areas. Uh, most of the live sales are around 117. Uh, dress sales from 185 to 188, but haven't seen any any spark due to the, the board being higher there in the middle of the week. So uh, they're gonna be pricing those cattle higher on Friday and we'll just see how much that helps. But it just seems like it's, it's closing the, the basis gap a little bit, but not really helping the cash market that much. But uh, your choice select spread is widening. Select was down really hard on Thursday. Got a $12 uh, choice select spread and it was coming pretty close together there not too long ago. Your slaughter for the week is around 14,000 heavier than just uh, uh, the same time last year. So we're seeing a pretty decent slaughter this week. El Reno, Oklahoma, a cash feeder cattle sale on Wednesday at 11,000 head compared to two weeks ago due to the holiday week. Feeders are steady to $5 lower, but they didn't realize that Thursday spark there that we've gotten in the country and, and on some of your Thursday sales. You look at Cattle Market Central, which is the only way you can really get up to the date real-time uh, uh, market information coming out of these sale barns. but. Uh, uh, here on Thursday afternoon, checking that farmers and ranchers livestock out of Salina, Kansas, had a load of 858 pound steers, bring 148.75, and that is uh, quite a sale there, and better than some of those uh, some of those country sales. But those cattle would have had to been shrunk out quite a bit, and more than the normal 2% shrink you get in the country. But that's three minutes, and we'll talk to you next week.